that you guys out there learning land or making or wondering how I made that ukulele shake in the background. It is magic. Um, it's the force. But today we're not talking about the force or magic. We are talking about Childish Gambino. Atlanta, great show. I didn't realize that the Uncle Lover was Childish Gambino. Congratulations for all your successes to hear my man. Great, great, great show. Darius, my favorite character. Got a favorite character? Leave a comment below. All right, but today we're breaking down this tune. I'm going to break down the riff. I'm going to break down the chords, everything, the lyrics on the screen, everything you need to learn this song. If you want, you come on Patreon. It starts with just a dollar creation, caps as low as a dollar a month, um, and you get a PDF with each lesson, including our previous lessons. You just go download them, print out, follow along. It will accelerate your learning, but I'm going to have all the information on the screen as well, too, so you don't need it to learn. You might just learn a little faster, all right? And it helps me out, too, so bada boom, bada bing. All you really need to learn this song, though, is a guitar braid and attention span. You got those three things. Follow me on in and let's break this lesson down right now. Ooh, so tasty. Let's do it. All right, folks, we are breaking this one down in the key of E flat minor. Um, it is actually tuned, his version, just a little bit lower between D minor and E flat minor. Um, but I'll be breaking it down in the key that sounds closest to what he's doing. But that means bar chords. Um, if you want, you could transpose this up half a key and it would get a lot easier. We're going to need a B. Bar that second fret and then I use my ring finger to play the th uh, fifth fret of the D, G, and B strings. So two, four, four, four. That's a B major. We're going to slide it up two frets and that becomes a C, ma or a C sharp major, okay? E flat minor. Point your finger on the sixth fret, and then we're gonna go eight and eight with our ring and pinky and get our middle finger on the seventh fret of the B string. And that is our E flat minor. Okay? So 99% of the song, and I'm showing you my hands and kind of more of the fretboard so you can see what I'm doing is I'm using my thumb on the A string and my pointer finger on the um, D, middle on the G, and ring finger on the B string, and I'm just pulling them all at the same time. So I'm going one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. See how that happens off the offbeat? One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And when I'm doing this, what I'm doing is I'm just giving my guitar a little tap for that mute. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. All right, practice that. Get a feel for those chords. Get a feel for that timing. Once you're ready with that, what we're going to do is put the lyrics up, and we're going to play through this eight times so you can see how it looks in first verse. Here we go, all right? One, two, three, four. And on that eighth time through, go ahead and just grab that B and let it ring out. And then we get to the pre-chorus. And this only happens one time in the entire song, all right? You're going to need the E flat minor, G sharp minor, all right? We're also, and you could get that way up here if you wanted to, but I think it sounds better down here. We're also going to need a B flat seven, another bar chord. Okay, and we're going to need an F sharp major, which is going to be from the E shape bar chord, 2nd fret, 4-4-3. Four, four, okay, and then this one we're actually going to use a strum pattern. So let's make our E flat minor and let's go down, up, you up. What's cool about this is that this particular part um, doesn't really have a strum pattern. It's just these chords for one beat, one measure. So you could feel free to do your own strum pattern too. I'm just kind of getting this from the, the kick drum that's going on in there. And there is a little more movement, so you can add some extra ups and downs. But that was my inspiration, the kick, all right? 
So what we're going to do is we're going to go down, up, you up, up, down on our E flat minor to our G sharp minor to our F sharp back to our E flat minor. Okay. And then we're going to go G sharp minor to a B flat seven. back into the tune, okay? Okay, so let's put those lyrics up to that bridge. Let's put those lyrics up to that bridge and play through that bridge together. Here we go. Into the chorus. Four times, right? So that's the chorus, that is the bridge. The only thing you need now is the riff. So I'm going to grab a pick because I prefer to play this part with a pick as I've been playing most of my fingers. And let's go ahead and break this down with the tabs on the screen. Okay, so we're in a little tighter so you can see a little better. Um, I like to do these ideas phrase by phrase. Let's look at the first phrase. Nice and slow. And they're all eighth notes, and it happens on the and after the one. So it's like one. Then you take your ring finger on the eleventh fret of the B string, and you're gonna go eleven, nine, seven, six. Okay, one and two and three. And then you're gonna same ring finger on the sixth fret of your um, G string now, and then all the way down to the um, eighth fret of the. D, uh, the D string, and then you roll back over to the 8th fret of the G string. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1. So the next phrase is going to go 6 to 8 on the G string, 7 on the B string, and then 9 on the E string, and finishing 11 right here on where we started on the B strings. So that one would be... Alright. Okay, so we put those together. We get 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... That's my favorite little piece. It's going to go 10 to 11 on the G string. And I use my middle finger and my ring finger. Then I come up and grab 9 with my pointer finger and then come back and get 11 again with my uh, ring finger. 3 and 4 and. So we put that together we get 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Okay, and then everything starts the same after that. Same. Same. But then we're going to go 9, 7, 6, hammer 8. Right? So it's going to be... Boom, 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 3 and 4 and... Okay, so we put all that together and I'm going to count it out nice and slow. Here we go. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and four four and all right, I got a little out of breath towards the end, and it kind of messed me up a little bit. Why don't we try to play it up to speed? Um... Okay, so 
that is the entire tune, folks. That is the intro riff. That is the verse. That is the chorus. That is the pre-chorus. That's the entire song. Those are all the pieces you need to play the entire tune. Like I said, you can get a PDF with that for um, just a dollar creation capsule. is a dollar a month if you would like over at 10 And until next time, everybody, keep on rocking, keep on rolling, and keep on loving life because it is all good. Skype Lessons 101, too, if you're interested, all right? Like if you want to know the whys behind this. E flat minor pentatonic. All right, everybody, until next time, keep on rocking and rolling. Life is good. All right, you're probably wondering how the ukulele's still shaking. Um, actually, that has to do more to do with like gravity and inertia than it does to do with the force. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the song. I hope you enjoyed learning with me. TenThumbsPro.com. It was a lot of fun to break it down with you. Um, and until next time, everybody, keep on rocking and rolling. Keep on loving life because it's all good. Take care of yourselves.